What do you have? Mom, what does Taco have? Is that the is that the baby's baby's toy? Is, is that the baby's toy? Mom, it makes noise and it smells like feet. What's up, Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. Good to see ya. So, it's kind of a short video. We are focusing in on our trip to the Texas State Fair this week. So we are getting a lot of little things done, mainly getting the car clean, the house clean, and getting our packing done. So while I've been at work this week, um, in the evening times, uh, Heather has been cleaning the house, getting it really buttoned up really nice as my mom is going to come and stay here to watch all of the animals while we are away. And we want the house to be nice and clean for her. So I'm going through and keeping everything super clean, cleaning the bathroom. She steam cleaned all of the floors. And we went to go get the car cleaned. It was an awful mess. We have a big acorn tree um, out in front of our house. I don't know what acorn tree is. Oak tree maybe? Oak does acorns? Um, anyways, sap and acorns have been falling all over our car, making it look disgusting. So finally went and got it cleaned and we went ahead and sprung to get the car detailed so that it could be super nice for us to enjoy while we're on the way up there. I don't know about you, but when things are cluttered or messy, um, it gives me anxiety. It gives me just a little, puts me a little bit on edge and I feel much better when things are nice and clean and put away and organized. So we got the car washed and car washed and detailed. I'll insert little clip of that right here. Monday so I've got most of my clothing that I'm going to be taking with me on the trip already planned out I was waiting for a couple of things I ordered online to come in and they've come in so I'm going to test out this uh, nomadic uh, packing system that we got from bespoke post so I've got my clothes folded and generally the same size as the nomadic cube, I guess, packing cube. So if 
got a set of trousers, two sets of shorts. Maybe just throw the beanie on top of this one instead. Shirt here. So the idea is you zip up the outer level. So it can go just like that, but there's an extra zipper here that will help compress your clothes to save space. That's the large cube. Well, there's a little room right here. I may have been able to put like socks or something, but that's one set of trousers, two sets of shorts, a hoodie, and a flannel. And I don't wear petite sizes, okay? Full bodied here. So that's a couple of extra large, extra, extra large stuff in there. And it fit everything. I was able to get it compressed. So that's a large one. Now we have the small one and I'll zip this up. I still have to put a few things in this one, which I'll wait until Monday to do. But this one has plenty of room. Shouldn't have any time. Shouldn't have a hard time getting this one compressed. That's two shirts, two tank tops, maybe three shirts, two tank tops, a beanie, and some socks. Underwear will probably go in there as well. That's the small one, or medium one, sorry. And then I've got two sets of shoes, actually, in the shoe holder. I've got two pairs of slip-ons, women's shoes, size eight. Those fit comfortably, plenty of room. So there you have it. Some Nomadic series packing cubes, and it's gonna save us a ton of space in our luggage. We have three of these. We have a large one, a medium one, and a small one. This is the medium one. Plenty of room left on this side for stuff. See, my wife has her shoes, toiletries, and her hat. Here's my two sets of shoes. And then I have a toiletry bag that's a little smaller than this. That'll just fit right here on this side and we're all packed essentially so so far so good review of those nomadic packing cubes they do save a lot of space like all that stuff without having the compression cubes would have we would have had to take the large suitcase instead of the medium one um, I have no doubt about it so they're super nice and something we may even look into possibly purchasing in the future. I have a couple for my wife so she can use so we can fit even more into our suitcase when we go on trips like this. So three days and counting, packing's pretty much done. Also, as you see, I included the uh, information about the nomadic packing compression packing cubes that we got from Bespoke Post, which we're not sponsored, but would love to be Bespoke Post. Looking at you. Anyways, I got all of my clothes packed in those compression cubes, and man, they sure do save a lot of space, especially with clothes for somebody who is a little bit larger like myself. 
it's nice to have something like those compression cubes to help keep your clothes tight. We may be getting more of those. My wife really liked them. She tried to take them from me, but I wouldn't let her. But other than that, we have three days left until we leave. So at this point, it's just uh, get through the next three days, Saturday and Sunday. We leave on Monday, today's Friday. So really just two days uh, and just button up the house. That way mom doesn't have to worry about anything when she comes to babysit the house and the dogs for us which will be really nice and we certainly do appreciate that. So shout outs to mom for doing that for us so we can take a little road trip and start a new tradition, fall tradition of going to the Texas State Fair. Make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be a three part series for the Texas State Fair, our trip up there Monday and uh, our trip to the fair Tuesday and then our journey back home on Wednesday. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Can't wait to take you guys along for the ride. So make sure you go down there and ring that notification bell that's down there. Yeah, go ahead and do that and subscribe to the channel, like this video. Uh, make sure you don't ever miss any of the videos we post. That little notification bell, that's what it's for. And it costs nothing. Helps my channel so much. I'd like to thank everyone out there who's already subscribed. I don't want to jinx it, but we are closing in on the 100 subscriber mark. And it may not seem like a whole lot to you guys out there, like, okay, 100 subscribers, who cares? But to our channel, it means the world. So I'd like to thank all of our current subscribers that are out there for tuning in, watching the videos, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel and we certainly do appreciate you being patrons of our YouTube. Anyways, that's all I have for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Remember life's about the journey, not the destination. You'll have a great day. We'll see you on the next video in Dallas.